Okay, here we we're we're ready to go with the whatever title you're gonna do here. Okay, so now we're going to chord tem family template for guitar, but we need some annotation beforehand. First of all, when I was teaching down in Austin, I had a lot of students, a lot of you know just you know guys that played G and D and that sort of thing, Neil Young songs, and they would ask me like, how do I write a song? So I started developing a harmony course for people who weren't esoteric jazzers or esoteric classical people, just regular guys that wanted to learn how to move chords around. Right. All right, so I came up with the system, but the mistake I made in teaching a long time ago was that I would take, before I even had them put anything on the guitar, I'd have them understand the whole entire course of theory from first level modes to second level, uh, you know, uh, secondary dominance, harmonic and melodic minor scales, and then third level symmetrical scales, like esoteric jazz stuff. <coughs> what happened was, when, when I was through with all that, I'd say, okay, let's put this on the guitar. They would forget everything they prior learned. Um, it's the same principle as, uh, you know, like, I, I got, uh, you know, like a hundred on my trigonometry regions. Nowadays, I couldn't tell you what a sine is. I don't know what a <laughs> cosine is or a tangent. I have no friggin' idea, all right? The theory became useless for me, all right? So that's, the, that's another thing is, like, when you learn music theory, apply it to the guitar, and that's what we're about to do. But in order to apply it, there, there are a few things you need to have. Understand that the chord family template, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, applies to the key of C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Okay. C, all right? Between C and D is a whole step, D and E is a whole step. Between E and F is a half step. Burn that in. E, F, half step. Then you go F to G, whole step, G to A, whole step. Burn in. B to C, half step. All right, now you can find your notes on, your, on, on the E and A strings by using that formula, all right? I'm, I, when I tell my students, I only want you to learn the E and A strings horizontally across the guitar because there are tricks to learning the other strings, visual tricks. Um, and I tell them, know the whole step, half step formula because you can target any chord. And I also tell them, forget about sharps and flats because if you know where an A is, you know where an A flat is. It's, you know, I mean, it's not that hard to see. Right. You know, if you know where an A is, you know where an A sharp is. Right. right. So, this is what you need to know. Here's your E string. We'll treat this like a fret. Okay. Now, E to F is a half step, so there's no fret in between a half step, so it's E to F. F to G is a whole step, so there is going to be a fret in between. G to A is a whole step, so there is A to B. Now, B to C is a half step. And D to C to D is a whole step, and D to E is, is a whole step. So we've got E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. You need to learn to memorize those, but if you can't, just use your whole step, half step formula. E to F and B to C, the rest are whole right. steps, but E to F, B to C, half steps, just memorize that. Now here's the A string, A to B. All right, whole step. B to C is a half step. Right. C, D, E to F is a half step. G, A. Learn those two because we're going to use bar chords based whose roots are in the E string and A string. In order to get this template on the guitar, you have to know that. Okay. All right? Now, I'm going to teach you two different versions of this pattern. This is what you do. We're going to be using bar chords, all right? The bar chords whose root is in the E string, this is like a G. The root's right here. Something's out of tune. Alright, this is G. The root is here. Alright? That's a this is what I call an E shaped bar chord. We get it from the E chord, right. E major. Probably that's not going to get anything. E minor or E7. We can grab on a bar chord E, E minor, E7, right? So I call this form one. The root is in the sixth string, the E string. Form two are the A shapes. We have A, A, A minor, A7. All right, mm -hmm. uh, and we make that shape by using a bar for major, and here's the A minor, and here's the A7 shape. But the root now is in the A string, A, B, C. Right. There's my root, so this is C major, C minor, C7. Okay. Right. So now what we're going to do is build the chord family template. We're going to use G as our example key for starters. Okay. What we're going to do is use G major bar chord, go a whole step up to A minor, a whole step up to B minor, right? 
Now you go to your original starting point and put a major chord at the third fret. And the, uh, working from the A string. On, uh, are we? But we were working from the E string, okay. G, A, B, right. and then C here, D, and E minor. All right, this is the chord family template. This is the one chord, the two chord, the three chord, the four chord, five or five seven if you want to make it, and the six chord. Right. And remember, we omit the seven because it's weak rooted. Okay. So now, this is the chord family template for the key of G. Okay. Now, notice that it follows a pattern of those distances. Okay. okay. So we have G, A, B, C, D, E. G, A, B, C, D, E. Now you can throw this anywhere on the neck. If you memorize this visual pattern, you can create the key of B flat. Oh, sorry. Key of F. All right. Now if you want to do uh, one, four, five, here's one, two, three, four, five. One, four, five. If I want to do Louie Louie, Wild Thing, you know, you name it, twist and shout. In the key of F, there it is. One, four, okay. five, four, one. If I want to do it in the key of A, one, two, three, four, five. One, four, five. Yeah, okay. All right? This is the reason why we need to know the names of the notes on the E and A strings, okay? This is the easiest template to follow, but let's say you're, in the, you're trying the key of D. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm on acoustic guitar. I can't reach. Mm -hmm. Well, there's another system. It's not as compact, but you could start with the form two chords where the root is in the A string, because a D up here is also a D down here. Okay. All right. Now, the way this system works is same distances, major, minor, minor. But then to get to go, you go to form two, uh, form one chords after this. You have to go jump back from your beginning step here, which is at the fifth fret, to the third fret. So we get one, two, three, four, five, or five, seven, and six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. Now, if I want to do my one, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. If I did it with the other template, I could. All right. So, um, pretty clear? Yeah. All right. So you need to know the names of the strings, uh, the names of the notes on the strings, natural notes. If you want to do the key of A flat, oh, complex, right? Four flats. Well, just, here's your A. Move it down to A flat. Here's your template. One, four, five, four. You don't even know, need to know the names of the, <laughs> right. the chords, right, right, at that point. So this is a visual system. Now, what I would say is this. Apply this immediately to the guitar. Okay. Figure out those six chords, as I showed it, and then start messing with combinations and see if you hear something that sounds familiar. Okay. All right? Let's say... When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. All right? Just another small town girl Living alone Right? All right? Uh, that's one, five, six, four. Okay. There's no copyright on chord progressions. People are ripping each other off with these things all the time. It's not a rip off. It's, it's just yeah. a particular color combination. It's you in create. the air. Yeah. Now in these two cases, uh, let's do some more actually. Our, our root chord in this case is on one. We're going to find other ones. Okay. That okay. The root chord is different. All right, but let's do another one. Um, sound, one, six, four, five. It doesn't have to be fifties, by the way. There's, there's plenty of one, six, four, fives, one, six, two, fives that are, All right you know. Um, now, if you give it like a 12, eight time, six, eight time, yeah. then you got fifties. This is one, six, four, five, which is very similar to one, six, two, five. This is two, five. Uh, the, from the Beatles, this, this, 
songs based off of this template, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, all these examples so far, we've had, uh, we've started on, we're giving one the root, right. all right? But we have four strong modes here. Mm -hmm. So let's say, um, now I'm making my root on the five, I'm going five, four, one, five, all right? So, um, uh, just five to four alone, there's a lot of songs written on that, like you... Now, again, you'd walk into a room, what key are you guys in? D. Not quite right. Actually, we're using chords from the key of G, yeah. right? We're in D mixolydian. That's the true answer. Okay. Okay. We're in the key of G. Sorry, the root is D. There's a difference between root and key. There is a difference between root and key. Brand that into your mind. A uh, key does not determine the root. The okay. root is determined by the chord progression and how you come home to that particular chord. So, uh, uh, Jesus, I, I'm having a hard time thinking of songs that are based, and there's a million of them. Oh, uh, sure. Volunteers, the Volunteers of America, Jefferson Airplane. Have a revolution, have a revolution. Solidian progression. Okay, we're on the fifth step: Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian. All right. I'm trying to think of some other stuff. Uh, all right, but we'll leave it at that. Now we'll do a, a what? Question? Can I toss in something? For some reason, uh, David Bowie came to mind. Now, some of his songs seem to be a little more sophisticated than... Yeah, yeah, he, he was actually pretty precocious back in his piano days when his oh, early okay. albums, yeah. What, what David Bowie? Oh, I, I guess uh, sort of lots of Bowie, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, actually the song Fame is Mixolydian, but he doesn't go through this particular progression. Oh, okay. Uh, what else? Uh, Get the ba ba with little help from a friend. Yeah, I always use the Beatles because I know so many Beatles songs. Yeah. That, again, it's C, D, C, uh, C, G, D, where D is the root. We're from the key of G. Mm -hmm. D is our root. Okay. okay. Let's try um, Dorian now. I'm going to A minor, C, D. says the key of G right oh, here because yeah. all se all 12 keys have their own specific seventh chord D7 defines the key of G okay. oh. this is a Dorian progression and you can go to Carol King I feel the right again you know if this this goes on and on and on and on okay uh, now I'm gonna do Six, five, four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all along the watchtower. Uh, five, five, six, 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 six. Five, five, four, 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 four. It's not in the original key, but it, it's parallel. It's it's sounding exactly like the song. Um, this is where I get the all along the bloody stairway to heaven thing I do. We uh. got. Uh, and then all along the watchtower, and then um, uh, lead guitar section to Stairway to Heaven. And a gazillion other songs. A gazillion okay. songs. Just those three chords alone. Okay, so that was 654. You can, you can take these numbers. You can take. You don't even have to think of the Roman numerals after a point when you get it visually on guitar, but if you wanted to, you could arbitrarily say, okay, let's turn this over. We could arbitrarily say, uh, gee, I wonder what, like, 
A to D to E minor sounds like. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, let's try it. Something's wrong there, but you know, uh, again, like, well, uh, say you don't like this order. Well, I, I, A, uh, E minor, D. Say you like the color of those three chords, but not the order. Well, yeah. change the order. It's just basically like uh, you can choose any chords from here. Since they're monochromatic, they're going to sound good together. They're not going to sound bad. All right. There are classic number progressions like one four five or one four five four or one six two five, one five six four, one five, uh, one four six five. Those are all very, very, very common, and you could build your own song. But of course, if I go. Really gonna think of hit me with your best shot. I mean, yeah. it's the same exact rhythmic punch. But what if I went? Uh, it doesn't sound like hit me with your best shot anymore. So you change the rhythm around. You tweak that. You can make it reggae. Well, UB40, right? It had a career doing that. Right. <laughs> or you could you could like extend the length, uh, you know, of one chord over another. G a little longer than the other right. chords. Okay, right. things like this. These are little tricks you can use to make your chord progression, uh, you know, not sound like anybody else's. Mm -hmm. And then you 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 work with your melody line after that. If you're inspired by this progression, some melody can emerge from right. that. And you don't need music theory to create a melody. You just listen to your chords and sing. And on that note, I believe we will stop this particular lesson. Uh, thank you very much, man. <laughs>